Let's make this FM pluck from the video game Subnautica. You can download this preset along with 149 other useful presets in my preset pack called Sounds You Know. Link for that's in the description. So to make this sound, we need to FM from two different sources. Uh, but we can only frequency modulate from one here. In Vital, we can also do phase modulation from LFOs, but it's not quite the same. So we're going to make our own FM wavetable like this one here. So in this wavetable, we're getting frequency modulation from a sine wave one octave up. So let's make that by going to Initialize Preset. Let's set this to Factory Basic Shapes, and this is our sine wave. Lower phase randomization to zero, open up oscillator 2, and let's do the same thing. Now turn the volume all the way down, and we want frequency modulation from one octave higher, so add 12 semitones. Turn on frequency modulation from oscillator 2, turn that all the way down. We're going to control that with LFO 1, so set that to saw up. Drag that over to frequency modulation amount. Click the quarter note here to change the unit to seconds, right click the amount, and put in 4. Let's hear this. The reason for 4 seconds is because Vital, when resynthesizing to Wavetable, takes a 4 second sample of your sound. So in order to do that, right click, resynthesize preset to Wavetable, and now here we get FM from a sine wave one octave higher. So that frees up this frequency modulation for another oscillator. So let's just change the frequency of this oscillator to zero. Let's remove LFO from frequency modulation. And let's control frequency modulation with uh, macro one. So drag that over, right click macro one, and set that to 0 0.24. Let's label that FM. So it sounds like this. Now let's add in the FM from the sine wave an octave higher with the wavetable. So let's set the frame of the wavetable to 48.5839. Let's hear that. Pretty goofy sound, but once we add in a bunch of effects, it sounds a lot cooler. So let's raise this one octave, both. Their relationship is the same, so it's just all one octave higher now. Now let's change the ADSR, so let's add a little bit of attack time, 0 0.02. Then turn decay all the way down, we're going to control that with macro 3, so drag that over. Right click macro 3, and let's put in 0 0.595. And let's label that decay. Turn down sustain, so that makes a difference. And then let's change release to 0 0.2. Now let's turn on filter 1. Change this to dirty. Turn down the resonance all the way. And then let's modulate the cutoff of this filter with envelope 1. So drag that over. Right click the modulation amount here, and let's change that to 37. Let's hear this. Now let's turn on key tracking 100% so it's the same across the keyboard. Now let's add in a little bit of vibrato. So take LFO1 and change the shape to a sine wave. Change the frequency from 4 seconds to 0.35. Then hold shift to make it bipolar and drag over to the fine pitch of both oscillators. And let's set these amounts to 0 0.25. Let's change the phase of LFO1 to 0 0.25 as well. That way we're starting in the middle of the pitch. Now let's add in some modulation of the panning. The original goes from the left channel to the right channel pretty slowly, 
and has this ebbing and flowing. So open up uh, oscillator, uh, low frequency oscillator two, and change the frequency to two measures. Change this from trigger to sync so it doesn't always start in the same position with each note. And then drag this over to panning. Uh, before you do that, hold shift so it's bipolar. And then right click the amount, set this to zero. We're gonna modulate that with macro two. So drag macro two over, turn up the amount here to four, and then macro two will set to 0 0.35. And let's label this panning. So now you can hear it slowly going from left ear to right ear. All right, so now let's add in some effects. So go to the effects section, turn on the EQ, play any note, and you'll notice some low end information here that we really don't need. It's just aliasing from the FM, so let's cut it out. High pass filter, decrease the resonance a little bit, turn cutoff all the way down, drag note over to cutoff, right click that modulation and make it bipolar. And now play a note again. Then drag the cutoff right below the first frequency you see in the spectrum. Now I have a key tracking high pass filter, so now when I play a low note, I'm not cutting out any of the frequencies that I do want. Now let's add in a chorus. Let's put the EQ before the chorus. Let's change the number of voices to eight. Let's lower the mix and control that with macro four. Drag macro four over, right click macro four and put in 0.5. Then let's add in a delay. Let's change that to a quarter note and let's set the feedback to 31 and the mix to 20. Lower the spread to cut out some of the highs and a little bit of the lows. Let's hear that. Now let's add in reverb to tie this all together. So let's cut out quite a bit of the highs and then let's add some time. Let's make it 3.5 seconds long and decrease the size to 25. A lower size makes the reverb sound a lot more dense. It doesn't sound smaller because the time is still really high. So let's set the mix to about 35 and let's hear this. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.